Hello. I think we can start already. Um, one note uh, before the talk. I present a security study done by the German uh, BSE, the Bundesamt für Sicherheits- und Informationstechnik. So I'm just the messenger, and please do not shoot the messenger. <laughs> Well, Plone is a success in security. The German um, BSE has released uh, in June a security study on uh, content management systems. Well, what is the BSE? Uh, it's the German for Office for Information Security and it's the authority for all IT security questions. Even the European institution, ENISA, that's doing almost the same, is structured after the German BSE and the president of the ENISA at the moment, Professor Hambrecht, was the previous um, BSE president and he was one of our keynotes at the Plone Conference, Germany uh, 2000. What was nice. Well, what was the reason for the study? Exposed systems like SMS are a major attacking point. And the BSE just gives security advices for public institutions to protect their IT infrastructure. Well, what was the reviewed CMS? So it was Drupal, WordPress, Plone, Yomla, and Typo, Typo 3. Well, I want to give you some words on mine, why I'm presenting it. Um, well, I'm originally head of the internet department of the LMU, Germany's largest university, and only federal uh, agencies were invited to the official presentation of the study. I was one of the very, very few university guys and from the state level that were invited. I was the only community member at all that was at the official presentation. Well, there's a nice thing about uh, the timeline, how it Gats presented. There was a pre-presentation at the Linux talk. There are some side notes that I want to present you to know that. So there was the official presentation and then the publication of the real paper to the broader audience. Well, if you're looking at the announcement of the presentation for the Linux talk, it says there are eight selected systems. Well, if you know something about the BSE, it's really simple to see if they have only reviewed five open source systems, there has gone something wrong. Because all federal offices are recommended to use one commercial system the government site builder. The BSE itself uses a system called First Spirit. So, why isn't there in the study? They have been reviewed. Well, it was an information that they give on the Linux day that, well, they just talk with the legal departments of those companies and they not allowed to publish it. Interesting fact. Well. Some notes about the authors of the study. It's done by the init, DE AG. It's a, well, a consultants group with more than 300 persons located in Berlin. They do a lot of lobbying in Germany and Europe uh, for IT uh, ideas. And um, the Fraunhofer Institute für Sichere Informationstechnologie um, is a research institute funded by 
the national um, or federal government, and they do special research on IT security. Well, if you look at the pages of the Init company, there's one thing. They do consultants on web content management systems. Well, the only open source system they do consultants on is Drupal. So, you could not. I'm not saying that the study itself is um, doing something wrong, but sometimes you see that there is a kind way of politics in presenting data to something. Switched mic. <laughs> well, so you see some of the presentation of the data goes strictly in the world of enforcing uh, Drupal a bit. So you should have that in remark if you read the study. Um, I have some criticism on the study itself. So if you're a decision maker or a manager, the study itself is definitely too long. No manager will read 165 pages. Um, for operational personnel like system administrators, the, syst the study itself is not detailed enough, so it has to be even more information on it. From a scientific point of view, there are some criticism. They are very ambitious, but they do not really justice it. So there are several approaches to do it, but they did not really explain why they do it and why there is the result like that. Uh, and sometimes they use a way of presentation that misleading some information on it. Well, the study itself was structured into several parts. So, basics of a content management system with an overview of the architecture of the reviewed systems, some current threat level and uh, statistics of security reports, Four application scenarios with requi requirements and recommendations, some kind of security audit based on the idle phases and the open sum criteria, and some general conclusions and recommendations from a security perspective. So they just describe a general uh, architecture of content management systems, and Plone was the only one that was most near that general approach. The PHP systems in the study shows out that they are doing very, very a uh, lot of things together, so there's not a separation of um, ideas or architectural components, so it's a security risk sometimes in it. Well, I guess who has been to Matthew's talked to yesterday have already seen some of the graphics. Um, it's a current threat level for uh, content management systems. What happens and what's the way of attacks go through. There was a statistics on uh, security risks via the CYSS statistics. Well, they just present the uh, line on the bottom. So that says that Plone has the most or the highest ranked security risk in it. But on the discussion afterwards, they said, well, Plone has the lowest amount of overall security vulnerabilities. And so it's a misleading point. You have to 
present both things in combination to see that maybe there are some vulnerabilities that could be uh, risky, but in the overall point of view, they are much less than on the other systems. Well, the problem with that is that statistics is just a snapshot of the of a situation. And, well, as Matthew yesterday said, the data are not up to date. Well, if you compare um, the systems and look at which vulnerabilities or so they normally suffer on, just a comparison um, to see. Well, and they just presented how many uh, security vulnerabilities they have uh, found and reviewed. And they um, make a comparison how many security vulnerabilities were in the core or in the plugins. And it's one thing that they said, a system should be as small as possible so you can review it. You can do security audits on it. And Plone comes with a lot of the features they need for their uh, scenarios in core. So there are not that many add-ons was needed for the review. And the security uh, architecture of ZOAP itself and the way of developing add-ons for Plone has a well-structured and straightforward way and it gives you a lot of uh, well capabilities to develop a very secure add-on. So m maybe in PHP there have to do everything from scratch and well PHP is not that uh, secure language. Well after that, they discuss about the uh, Open Web Application Security Project and their uh, top 10. And they just said that the three points for content management systems that are very, very important from their point of view is security misconfiguration, using components with known vulnerabilities, and missing function level access control. But if you look at Plown, almost all of them, we have a concept for it. And that's a good thing. So there were four application scenarios, a private event site, a civil office of a small community or village, an open government site for, of a small town and a medium-sized company with multiple locations. They had set some um, requirements in the beginning of the study, but they did not really explain why they apply which system to which um, scenario. Well, in the discussion they said, for private event side, you should not use a content management system by yourself at all. There are so many cloud hosted or um, hosted content management systems that are under secure uh, monitored, so use one of them. For a civil office and the open government side, they recommend either Drupal or Plone. Well, but they said it depends on the direct requirements of it. Plone has much more advantages on the secure point of view. Drupal has more extensions that are fancy for that point of view or requirements. So just a personal decision what you choose. For the medium-sized company with multiple locations, well, the recommendation was that all systems could be applied. They preferred to recommend either Drupal or 
Typo 3, as they are shipping some shopping models with them. And that's the only reason. If they said on the other side, if you do not need a shop, go for Plown. It's much more secure and scalable. Well, then there was a security audit based on ITIL faces. It's the IT infrastructure library, for those who don't know, uh, with service design, service transition, service operations. So that's just a catalog of requirements they set for security application should be fulfilled. And, well, it's almost uh, half of the study that's just the evaluation of that. But let's go into the conclusions and recommendations of them. They have some general recommendations and conclusions. Well, the first thing is open source is at least as secure as commercial software. There's no security reason to say we have to go for a commercial one. They said never use a system as is. Out of the box security is dangerous for almost all system except Plone. Plone ships with a very, very well uh, starting configuration for it. But they said, well, for, uh, for the final side, for the final portal you do, you have to do some more configurations. Yeah, indeed. But it's a good starting point. And there's one thing that they say, you sh every system should get at least 15 minutes of care per day. If I remind me last year, Steve, on his talk about how to manage a plone site, it was his recommendation too. You should at least take a few minutes per day, go through the logs, look what has happened, look at the monitoring devices and everything, do it. And we have a lot of capabilities to monitor our sites. So the sum up of their recommendations is service providers must be able to apply any patches permanently. Service providers should design their web sites before they put them on. The principle of defense in deep is uh, paramount important. Service providers should constantly monitor their websites and a secure configuration must be supported across the infrastructure based of the main application purpose. Well, let's go into deep for the plone specific facts, praises, criticism, and recommendations. Well, at first, they really, really praise the security overview of Plown. It's the only system that has all the information in one place and presented it to customers. Wow. The second thing is the installers especially the unified installer. It brings that much to you and gives you um, security. It does not um, misconfigure your system at all. It built, in, well, everybody of you who know Plone uh, did know that we are doing virtual environments built out so that we are isolated. And that's a very, very good point they said. We should enforce it. And the other point is that we are bringing with the installer the CEO concept, even with us. And they said spreadability of critical components to increase performance and availability out of the box is one of the major, major uh, things of Plown that you should uh, look at. It's very strong thing. Well, there are some downsides. Most of the study, as I said, was the security audit, the review of the ITIL criteria. And they have an um, approach that they just 
look for each question at maximum 15 minutes. If they do not find an information within this time, you're downvoted. Well, our documentation sucks in that case because they are tried to focus on different per groups of person. So a user, a system administrator, a developer. We do have a lot of documentation for the developers. We do not have a special section for uh, system administrators to find information. And if you do not know our wording, you did not find the right information. But well, we ca have to care about it and I guess we all know that it is. We should enforce on that. Well, everything is about communication and the transparency of communication was praised a lot and there I want to make a big thanks to you, Matthew, as you were the major uh, contact point of them and thank you for your good work. Um, our statement that Plown has an extra reporting channel so that you do not have a ticket system that is public for security issues, um, they said, well, it's quite a safety win. It's a quick safety win. And that's something we should have. Another thing is they really praise our pluggable authentication system that we are able to plug in every kind of authorization and, and um, authentication and authorization system. And they praise SoapScale. It, I, I hope everybody of know, you knows SoapScale. That SoapScale brings skeletons for development of add-ons and some kind of best practice how to develop uh, X or add-on products for Plone is really, really a good thing. And we have some reactions on the study already. Well, I find it very funny. Last year in Arnheim, we stand in front of the sanctum and there's a, a sentence written over it. It says, most people stay silent, only if you act. And that's how community, even our community, is we act and it's a good thing that we do it. Well, there was a refactoring of the security section of Plone.org, so there's a new uh, Plone hotfix page. Th not, not yet, but hopefully yeah. So, Thank you all for the security team and the persons that work on it. So especially there was prone up vulnerabilities and security mockups. So thank you for the person. So I see uh, Matthew, Paul, uh, Ramon, and several others. Eric, yeah, who work on it. Thank you for that. So there's a new presentation of which Clone versions are supported and under maintenance. There is a new presentation of the CVE information. And there is one thing probably not everybody of you know. There was one thing that they really recommend. We should have static code uh, checks over all development. We have it already. We have a very good test-driven development. We have a lot of testings of all. But, well, Timo Stollenberg just um, released Plone Recipe Code Analysis that can check all of your code and make recommendations or set where is something that you should change. And that's a very, very good thing. So said that he's not here, but I think everybody of you who see him should give him a thank for that. Well, I on myself have a few ideas how we can go further and make Plone even 
more better in a point of secure marketing. So probably we could do a translation of the um, auditing list and just give the point to the right documentation where you find it. Doing a version hotfix information through JavaScript on our plan control panel on the customers so that it says, okay, if I load it, there's a new version, there are hotfixes that I should apply on. And one thing is the, our security overview is on the OS app version of 2010. There's a new version of 2013, so we should update it. So thank you. Any questions? So then, at the end, I just uh, please you to give an applause to the fab fabulous uh, security team and Matthew, that they did a good job.